Hello, this is Eternally Prussians Warframe. Today I'm doing a raid mission with my brand new awesome Frost and my brand new pimped out Worm Sentinel. Now, you may notice on me I have different equipment and the fact that I have a Frost in the first place. I was lucky enough for my more or less graduation gift to receive a $250 um, Warframe Founders Pack, and that's incredible. So, I have a ton more experience. I wish I could give stuff because my friends would be getting a ton of Warframes because I think I got everything I want, and I have a lot of money left over. Um, oh, onto the important stuff, right. Um, what is a raid mission? Raid missions are where you go into a ship, this one being Grenier, and you obtain an artifact. They're referred to as Orican artifacts. You'll learn about the Orican as you get into the game. The Lotus does at least explain that. On me, I have the Gram, originally from my Ash. Um, I have the Boar, which is an auto shotgun I newly bought. And I have my Lex from my Nyx. I don't think I've shown that off yet. That'll come at a later point. But I don't really have a pistol for him, so I'm temporarily carrying around my Lex. So when I get a new pistol for him, well, obviously I'll equip it. Um, this is not going to be a war this is not going to be a tutorial as to what these Warframes actually do. I don't own all the Warframes. I don't really want to own all the Warframes. So maybe if I have enough money left over and I feel like it, I will go. Oh no 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 um, this is on Planet Mercury, so again, this is a mission available to you once you finish your first sabotage mission where you knock down that generator. Now, basically, well, you'll see how it works. Alright, that's a ballista. Maybe the first time you encounter that, maybe the second. Not too heavily armored, but they have some great distance to them. Now, the frost I have equipped is not the normal frost. Now, the difference is that as you see on the helmet, that is the aura helmet. What that does, I'm going to correct myself in the annotations if I'm wrong, but I believe it increases stamina but decreases health, which as you can see by the uneven number 114, it probably does that. But I think increase in stamina, like for the ash helmet, is worth it. The only difference is... Okay, I thought we were going to get locked out. Uh, the only difference in this one is that... I'm not even going to chase after that, Melissa. Um, Ashes actually doesn't look that good, and I kind of like the look of the um, Aura helmet more than I like the look of the traditional helmet. Um, the helmet is available for 75 credits in the shop, and... You could very much do without it. I'm doing this just because cosmetics, and I think having health is a little more important than having stamina. That's just personal opinion, though. If you got money and you disagree with um, my statement that about, well, what I just... I'm losing track of what I'm saying here. Oh, here we are. Let's never mind that for now. You hit X to raise the artifact. There's the artifact right there. You grab it. It's a little some, it's a little cube thingy. All right, now you're glowing red. That means you have the artifact or the hostage or the whatever you're supposed to collect on you. This does not mean you're taking mortal damage. Despite when you take damage, it still looks a little bit red. That just means you have the artifact. You're the important guy. You want him to be the one that the team gets out of there alive, most importantly. This doesn't mean they can't do without you, though, so just remember, you may have the artifact, which is a good thing, but you are not indispensable. Alright, basically that means get to extraction. Or, as you see I'm holding here, is an auto shotgun. I keep trying to play it like it's a pump. You see how I was waiting to fire. I was waiting to fire, and that you don't have to do with an auto shotgun, but I've been using pumps in the heck for so long, it's like, I don't even notice. It's just second nature for me. I equipped the Frost with a Gram, and took it right off my ash simply because 
I like the idea of the slightly slower class, and if you didn't notice, Frost is slightly slower even with the stamina increase. Um, meaning that you'd want to give him something like this, a faster weapon, sorry, a slower weapon, to match a slower class. So, since you're moving slowly, there's no sense getting a really fast weapon that'll try and zoom you around when you're moving at a walking pace. So, again, why have a speedrun weapon when you're moving at a walking pace? It makes sense to me. Now we're locked out. Locking out is the same on all characters. Raising the artifacts is the same on everyone. Warframe differences are not going to be gotten into in this video, but I will say that the majority of the actions you do are exactly the same. Now what I did there was a wall run. That's very important. You will learn to love using that later because it is not only necessary, but you can do some really creative stuff with it. What you do is you run to a wall, to use the same buttons you would to do a turbo jump, and you run to a wall with a directional key held. So that means shift, control, space and the direction at the wall. Now sometimes you'll go up, sometimes it'll do what you tell you and go to the side. So holding W when you're doing that will make you do a straight up wall run. Not all surfaces can be wall ran on, but a lot of them can. Now here I am at extraction. Wasn't that nice and easy? Let's see. And usually when you're glowing like that, it means you get a mod like there's his last deflection. Everyone gets that. Alright, this is Eternally Prussian's Warframe, and that's it for today.